92.1 WRYS Glass Animals and Heat Waves here on our Wednesday morning. Time now for the Woodlawn Hospital Report, and we welcome to the studio Mr. Alan Fisher. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for having me today. Thanks for joining us. How are things going at Woodlawn? Well, you know, they could always be better, right? <laughs> they could always be worse, too, yeah. right? <laughs> well, at our, at our you board, don't wish that. <laughs> yeah, that's true. At our, at our board meeting uh, that we presented um, for the last month, our hospital didn't do so hot financially. We actually lost about a million dollars oh my. in one month. Uh, what really contributed to that, a good portion of it, was lack of people coming to visit us. Yeah. They were going to other hospitals. We hear all oh, they're there. healthy. No, they're not healthy. Oh, they need okay. services and Just not coming to us. Okay. Then you know what we're hearing? We're hearing that our prices are too high. Huh. Now, you know, we looked around at other hospitals uh -huh. like us. Yes. We're actually the lowest. Okay. So I really <laughs> wanted to go out there and encourage um, yeah our county full county come on out right. when you need our services please see us right when, when you leave to go to other facilities you're taking that away from our community and we really encourage people give us a shot yeah see the new wood lawn yeah there's a lot of things changing and uh, a lot of changing stuff. for the good and right yeah give it an opportunity and with that uh i want to talk a little bit about our swing bed program that's really um, uh, misnomer we're calling it rehab to home Okay. So if somebody goes to a hospital, needs a little tune-up before they go home, come see us. Yeah. They spend some time, get some rehab, get hospital-level care, and then they're on their way. Yeah. Good as new. Uh, so that's doing well. Uh, our construction over at the Schaefer Building, progressing as planned. So Good. Good. that is really working to, uh, to the advantage and doing well there. Uh, I want to mention out there for those in the community that need help with our health insurance, mm -hmm. We have Claim Aid, which is a service that we offer to assist people in either getting Medicaid, helping them with their Medicare, or even the uh, other insurances that are out there that are provided through the uh, various governmental programs. Yeah. So please take us up. Yeah. Uh, we're here to help. We want to be part of the solution, not part of the problem, <laughs> right? That's always a good thing. Yes. Today you got brought some guests with you as and, well. Yes, and I'm going to turn it over to them. Okay. Uh, Krista, our director of marketing, All has right. some stuff. So we'll let Krista, her take it away. We'll let Krista slide in here first and say good morning. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Doing great. Thanks. What's happening in the uh, marketing department? We've been doing lots of community outreaches. We recently just um, finished some biometric screenings for Rochester School, so we're really grateful for the opportunity to take care of our teachers as we're earning the right to care for this community. That's awesome. Awesome. That's always good to uh, take care of those teachers because uh, teaching the uh, the future. So. Yeah, and then um, another thing just to briefly mention that a way that we take care of our community is claim aid. I know we talked about it before, but if anyone actually needs help applying for um, insurance or government programs, which can be really cumbersome, um, if you don't understand all the, the ins and outs of it, and we're here to help with that. So if they need anything with Claim Aid, just call the main hospital, okay. ask for Claim Aid, and then we'll be able to help with that. Awesome. Um, and last thing, we have to home. We just want to really touch on this. This is such a great uh, service that we offer the community in that we are able to take patients who need a little more hospital stay normally, um, 60 and above, but that's not always the case. Yeah and we can help them at the hospital and get them home safer so we don't have to worry about them going in and out of the hospital That's especially awesome. in the cold yeah this months. this time of year yeah especially yeah, yeah. definitely um and i don't know if um, we have Alyssa here today she's going to talk a little bit about our ob program they're doing a lot of exciting things a lot so. of changes coming up all right yeah. well, well, welcome Alyssa, to the the program good morning how are you good morning i'm good how are you doing great thanks so uh, what what else going on in the ob department we are really excited we've brought on an internationally certified lactation consultant and she's actually started some lactation services in our clinics so that we can really provide services from all the way from prenatal classes all the way through to postpartum so that everybody feels like they're supported that whole time um, she's got new prenatal classes that she started and then a baby 101 class which is really exciting for us so that you know what to do when you actually get to take that baby home um, we are continuing to win awards which is awesome for us and awesome for our patients we've got um, the hepatitis b first dose award we've won that several years in a, in a row um, we've also won the inspire hospital distinction award and we're also still a safe sleep leader so that means we have a cribs for kids program so if there's any 
families in the community that need a safe sleep spot for their children, for a crib, we can get them signed up with that and get them all set. We work with all of our friends with healthy families and all those things to make sure that they get all the things that they need. Um, we've also got a car seat program for people that need car seats. We just want our babies to be taken care of and our families in our community to always be taken care of. It's always um, a great thing. Always, always great to take those extra steps, you know, those things that people may not think about or some of the families may not be able to get to and, and you can right. uh, direct them in the right direction. And that's the thing, there's a lot of people that are out there that don't have the resources to get those things. I mean, everything's kind of crazy right now, right? <laughs> so we want to make sure that they're always supported and that we take care of them from their whole lifespan. Right. So. Yeah, good deal, good deal. You know, I, I like the commercial uh, where you have uh, the celebrate the birthday from start to finish. That. You know, so it's, that's a great deal, and, and uh, you know, and the nice part is it's right here at home. So I mean, you don't have to go outside the county. You can have your baby here and go home quickly and have all the support you need. Exactly. And Alyssa, I think, can talk to us more. Our team trains super hard to be the best that they can be, yeah. and I'll let her address that more. Yeah, we've got all sorts of certifications as nurses that we have to have um, to be in the OB department. We've got from um, just basic life support CPR to advanced cardiac life support for mom. We've got NRP for babies so that we can totally take care of baby if there would be any complications. Um, we've got stable certification, which is a lot about if we do have a, a real preterm baby that might need to go to Riley or something like that, we can take care of that baby here until we can get a transport team to us. We can make sure that they're nice and packaged up and ready to go for that transport team. Um, we want to always be trained for any possibility that can walk in the door, and that's what we're here for, yeah. is for those things that might just come in, and then for those lovely normal deliveries, <laughs> we've got all that on top of it. Yes, so. great. Uh, how are, tell us about the, the suites out there uh, in the OB. Obviously, uh, you have uh, individual suites for the parents and, and the babies. We do. We've got um, three labor and delivery rooms and then four postpartum rooms. And we're actually getting ready to do um, some freshening up and painting with our Woodlawn Foundation has supported us through that. So we've got an excellent designer that's working on getting those color palettes and all those pieces <laughs> together for us. So we're super excited to get that freshened up awesome. and make it a, a pretty space on top <laughs> of a quality space for them. Well, and I think it's important to, um, if you want to deliver at Woodlawn, like, to know your entry point, right? right. So because um, we have we have a lot of providers who are um, able to deliver, and I'll let Alyssa talk about that, but we do have practices in Argus, and we have practices in Rochester, and I'll let her go into that a little bit more. Yeah, so we are always here for emergency care. If anyone, we've, and we have several times had travelers passing through, <laughs> or they're here for, at the lake for the weekend, or that sort of thing. Um, we're always here for emergency OB care also, but if you want to deliver at our hospital, the best way to do it would be established with one of our providers. And we've got um, five delivering providers, two of which are females, which is great. That's a big deal for a lot of women to be able to have a woman take care of them. Um, we have excellent, well-trained, they all have a ton of experience providers. You just call their offices in either Argus or Rochester and um, get set up with them. They send the information over to the department and we're all set to go. So when somebody comes in and is ready to have their baby, we can take care of them fully. You know, it's good too, you mentioned uh, the, the uh, er early uh, baby deliveries or mm -hmm. emergency ones, because it is the holiday. So there could be family visiting now for, with Thanksgiving, Christmas coming around. Uh, there, there could be those Definitely. early babies that wanna make that surprise visit. And uh, it's yeah. good to know that you're ready ready for that and it's good to know uh, for people visiting too. That's right, we're always ready to take on those kind of things. That's that's why we're here, yeah. we wanna yeah. take care yeah. of them. What else is happening? I think that's about everything. We're just getting out in the community more. We have a lot more exciting things. We were part of Trick or Treat. Um, <laughs> Didn't get rained on, got sent, thank you. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I wondered about that, but yeah, we're just um, awesome. learning, we're getting more out in the community, which is what we want to do. We want to be a part of this community because we want to earn that right to care for the community. Any programs coming up uh, that you know of uh, for the community or? You have your birthing classes, right? We have prenatal okay. classes every first and third Wednesday of the month, and the baby one-on-one -on -one classes on the second Wednesday of the month, and we're getting ready to start breastfeeding classes as well. Um, cool. Those are our, our big pushes right, right now. Awesome, awesome. Well, thanks for coming in. Wish you guys and uh, the entire staff at Woodlawn a happy Thanksgiving, and uh, enjoy the holiday. Yep. Thanks for having us. Thank, Thank you. you. That's your Woodlawn Hospital.